The GH5 has a new variable frame rate mode that can get you incredibly slow slow-mos at up to 180 frames per second. Why don't we walk you through how to set up the camera so you're ready to shoot in VFR mode and then some tips on how to set your exposure. So step one, we want to go into the camera's menu. Once in the camera's menu, we first need to go to the second tab under record quality. Once here, you're looking for a frame rate that has a symbol that says VFR. So you'll see right here it doesn't say VFR at all, which means this mode does not have VFR available. If I move down, Eventually, when I get to 4K at 30 frames per second, 8-bit, I can do VFR. Now, the reason I can do VFR in 4K is that I would be recording in 30 frame, but it can actually capture 60 frames a second. So that would be a 2x slow-mo. As we move down, you'll then see another 4K option, 24 frame. So this is going to be a 2.5 times slow-mo, recording at 60 frame, playing back at 24. When we get to the full HD settings, we get all of these options for VFR. The bottom option is 24 frame. We're going to shoot at 180 frames per second, and you're going to get a 7.5 times slow-mo. So we've got that portion set up. The next step is we need to go to the top tab. From here, you'll see on page 1 of 2, it says variable frame rate. Select variable frame rate and hit set. Now, if you go all the way to the left, you could shoot two frames a second, and this would be a quick and dirty time-lapse option if you wanted to use that, all the way up to 180 frames per second. So we've got the camera set. The drawback here is that if I were to hit record really quick, and then if I were to pause it, you'll see it just got very dark. That's because we're shooting at 180 frames per second. I'm using a 180 degree shutter angle, so the camera is getting very dark. We have to correct our exposure before we shoot. So I've already tested this, and we've determined that if I take this to ISO 1000, I know it's going to look like it's very overexposed, but when we actually shoot this, it won't be. Now the last thing to remember is that the camera's not going to autofocus, so you need to set your focus manually when you're in VFR mode. And Emily, if you want to get ready, and go ahead. So we've just captured a few seconds of her slow-mo. And if we hit playback, you can see our exposure is correct. And you can see that this is an incredibly slow slow-mo.